before Sudarshan Kriya, you had done Vipassana. What is the difference between Vipassana and Art of Living's Sudarshan Kriya? Vipassana is very, uh, the course was very intense. Actually, I did it after the Sudarshan Kriya also. I learned that Sudarshan Kriya and I did the advanced course in Art of Living. And I felt that, uh, you know, the Art of Living thing is not very intense enough. I wanted something more intense, more serious. And then I did the Vipassana. And so it was more serious and it was more uh, grueling. But that desire to do something more intense and all this was again a desire only and it was like a play of the ego. I felt a little again there also a little vacuum to be honest that it, it was a little boring. Yeah, the Sudarshan Kriya, I felt more energy, more freshness, mm. more lively, more natural. For some time I had like stopped Kriya and practiced this diligently. You know, you had to practice two times. Vipassana, uh, if you, you do did Vipassana two times a day. Yeah, morning, evening, one, one hour. You have to sit, meditate and so I was doing that diligently, I was practicing that but I was not seeing the transformation or results as such. Okay, it was equanimous calm but little dull, I would say, little boring and dull. There was something missing there also, I felt. Then I came back to this Kriya, I repeated a course. Then after the course, I felt, wow, man, this half an hour of Kriya, I start feeling so fresh, so energetic, lively, natural. I'm able to express what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling and uh, it was more lively, more full of life. So then I thought that, yeah, this is better. This is more holistic. Vipassana is maybe a little more compartmentalized that you, you keep your meditation separate, your other spiritual life is separate, your regular life and job is separate and your personal life is separate. We can't compartmentalize your whole life. Mm. They can't be watertight. Mm. There has to be a mix of all. So that's what in, in Art of Living in Sudarshan Kriya because there is a mixture, sadhana, seva, satsang. So you do your meditation and Sudarshan Kriya and those practices and there is seva also integrated into it. You do some service activities, help people to contribute in whatever you can. And then also knowledge, talking about knowledge, being with a group in the knowledge and talking, discussing, gossiping, gossiping, knowledge. <laughs> Gossip, go is knowledge. Sip. <laughs> so that's the more holistic approach and more relevant to the current times. You know, Vipassana would have been the ideal thing in the time of Buddha because there the society was different. Mm. There was no mobile phones, there was no Instagram, there was no... The people were very well off and people had all the amenities they had. That's why he gave them a begging bowl, you leave everything and you come to the... Uh, come to serve or you uh, shave your head and take a begging bowl. Because there was that was the kind of society at that, that time. Now the society is different different culture, different styles. Their people were still more sattvic, they would donate and they would do things. Here today it's Kalyug, it's different. People behave, behave differently, their attitudes and the whole society is different. Low focus, you know? attention, attention deficient. Mm -hmm. People can't focus on more than 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Different society, so different things, different techniques, tools. They come out. Watch full podcast on Rocklas. Rocklas Radio. Rocklas. 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 Rocklas Radio with Tom Maisha.